This video will be my opinion on the Ann Coulter and Vivek Ramaswamy incident that occurred during May of this year. The day of this recording is June 15th. That means it's been a little bit more than a month has passed since that incident. Ann Coulter is definitely not a good person based on her past behavior. She was targeting and attacking the widows of the 9-11 incident. There are articles up from 2006 that claim that Ann Coulter was attacking the widows of 9-11. A lot of people are starting to label Vivek Ramaswamy as a sellout. If he was a sellout, then it's not really different from what most Indians and most human beings do. Okay, to climb up the hierarchy of this world, you have to sell out. And unfortunately, most of the people who are in that hierarchy are white people, despite the fact that there are more Asians and Africans alive on this planet than white people. So you have to course your way to the top if you want to compete with the Caucasian human beings that exist on this planet. Another thing people don't understand is that after Ann Coulter said that she won't vote for Vivek because he's Indian, there are a lot of other things that happened in that incident, such meeting, such conversation between both of those individuals. If you don't get it right now, then individual one is Vivek Ramaswamy, individual two is Ann Coulter. The media wants everyone to believe that the meeting just ended with Vivek praising Ann Coulter for having enough honesty and integrity and guts and courage to say her true feelings and not hide her beliefs. The media ignores and does not allow you to see the other information. They only show you information that they want you to see. So you form your opinion based off of that information. Vivek and her had a conversation about other things too. And it ended up making Ann Coulter look less intelligent in comparison to Vivek. She looked inferior to Vivek based on their words and their exchange of dialogue. A lot of people criticize Vivek's response as being that of sellouts, but let me ask you this. First of all, okay, for Ann Coulter, would you rather have preferred her to be dishonest and lie about her feelings? Would you prefer her to be under closet racist or open racist? I think it's better that she exposes herself as a person that discriminates against other people based on their ethnicity and racial background because she admitted it instead of just lying about it. Because the Democrats, they always lie about their, how they themselves act. Hillary Clinton is going to pretend like she's not racist, but the truth is that she is a racist. And now I might be in danger. My life might be in danger. I might be vulnerable to getting killed now or kidnapped now because I dare to say that. The Ku you want to know why the Ku Klux Klan wore those robes? It was not just to hide their identity from law enforcement. It was to also hide their identity from their own victims. It was to hide their own identity from co people of color. Because when they would take that mask off, then they would pretend to be nice to people of color. They would pretend like they're friends with a person of color in order to, to find them when they're vulnerable, in order to lure them into a, sense of, a false sense of security. But when they put that mask on, then they can rampage as much as they want to. But after they take that mask off, they're going to pretend. They're, I mean the hoodie, the hood, not the mask. After they take the hood off, then they're going to pretend like they're friends with colored people who they deem to be inferior. If we're going to have racist people, then it's better to have those racists be individuals that don't wear masks or hoodies that don't try to conceal themselves because that way you know who they are. That's why if you had a choice between the lesser of the two evils, the Ku Klux Klan or the skinheads, then it's better to choose the skinheads, because at least you know what they look like. You know what their faces are. It's easier to deal with a racist who is honest about their views than a racist that is dishonest and is trying to hide behind a guys. Now I have to say one more thing about Ann Coulter. She would vote for a non-white or an immigrant or an Indian if that Indian had 
connections to a white family if they married into a white family or if they are actually if they have a white parent if they're biracial then it would be fine and culture admitted that so it's not like she's totally completely racist unlike some people who think if you have a drop of non-white blood even if you're one percent non-white then you don't deserve the same rights that white people do at least she's not at that level of racism some people might say that Vivek is a simp, but honestly, let's be honest over here and say this. If Vivek dared to talk back to her in a negative way, if he dared to insult her or call, even call her a racist, then you know what would happen, right? He could become a victim of cancel culture on the Republican side. He could become a victim of attacks. You saw what happened with the Carolyn Bryant case. So how can Vivek be safe from such things? He'll go from being a wealthy person to a middle class person then when it comes to his economic status. He could lose a lot of things. If he dared to attack back against her, if he dared to say something bad to her, if he dared to call her a racist, or if he dared to try to insult her based on her looks or her beliefs, if he dared to use negative vulgar language against her, if he dared to roast her, then what would have happened? Her white knights would have come in, not just white people, but the, he would have to deal with the feminists too, not just the pro-white racists. Now you have to deal with two people. The third group he would have to deal with would be the black simps, the ethnic simps that worship white women and put them on a pedestal. He would also have to deal with a fourth group of people, which would be the ethnic females that follow the lead of white women and make them their idols and role models. Vivek took the safest route instead. All these people who are insulting him, claiming that he's a simp, and they're insulting him for saying that she was brave and had the guts, that Anne Coulter had the guts and was brave. They would be hating on Vivek. They would be hating on Vivek and insulting Vivek even more if he dared to call Anne Coulter out because Anne Coulter is a woman and is white and is in power. I just think that it's wrong, morally wrong, to insult and shame Vivek Ramaswamy for his response. If you watch that anime known as Naruto or read its manga, then a perfect example of classic simping would be in the Shunin exams where the character of Hinata was protected from Nenji because she was a woman, a female. But the character of Rock Lee was not protected from Gara until he became disabled, and the reason was Rock Lee classified as a male, as a boy, so boys will not get the same protection that females do.